Got some pickles on the bottom. Pickles. Pickles. Pickles? Sure. His toes look like pickles? His toes look like pickles. They probably smell like pickles. I wonder. That'd be delicious. You want to suck on Khan's toes because they would taste like pickles? Find out. Only on OnlyFans down there. <laughs> You know, I'm sure somebody would be into it. Like, you suck that con toys toes harder, damn you. You earned that $20 subscription. <laughs> Anyways. Listen up, Brandon. Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Ernest. And today we'll be going over the NECA King Kong. This is the fourth NECA King Kong we've Which gotten. Which one is this? I'm so I don't confused. even know. It just says King Kong on the side. Which one is Ultimate King Kong? They're all Ultimate King Kongs. I don't know. I actually yeah, ever, it's, this one. it's like the cons kind of remind me of when you're in elementary school and everybody gets participation prizes. <laughs> so it's all the same. That's kind of what I feel like the cons are. Participation prizes. This box reminds me of the Claymation Kong, kind of. I will say the box gets me really excited for this yeah. because you have like the black and white Kong. Yeah, he's literally gripping Kong. the Kong logo and he's like on top of the tower. You got him roaring. You got him looking grumpy. Back of the package. No, he's in color, son of a... His word. Now, again, now you get disappointed because you're like, oh, cool. He's in color. Which would... I think you... Well, I don't know if you save money, but... And again, he's in color, but then it's like you get the plane. Then the planes? Is the plane black and white? I would be very upset if the plane was black and white, but the color was color. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll uh, find out here in a minute. Does he come with the chains? Yes, he comes with the chains. So oh. what's mainly different between this one and the one we previously reviewed is accessories. Because uh, he comes with... As you can see here, he has the two chains. Oh, close and it then back. That plane on the back. Although I really like that image. Close it. Close the box. Ah, life isn't so disappointing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish they would make a black and white or black. I figured and white. this would have been it, right? And yeah. also, you got some legal mumbo jumbo on the bottom. But like, because it's like we've already gotten two of the same color con. We got the opposite of the spectrum. The con with too many colors. Oh my god. He ate crayons. Where's my monochrome con? <laughs> oh, but anyway, I guess uh, we're not really too much else to really talk about. We already, actually, we already went over his cardboard prison, too. So I guess we'll just get into him. All right, so now we got him opened up out of his cardboard prison. Don't worry, supposed to stay up for a joke. A joke-ish. All right, so Arnez, which one was the one we just opened? Ooh, I know. I know. I won't say the secret, but I know. It's the one with the bent tooth. So the mouth can't close. Which is? The one over there where your finger's pointing at. This one? Yeah. Ah, darn it. He's actually right. <laughs> All right. So uh, we previously reviewed this guy. This one is the one that from the the, gonna, dinosaurs. the creature pack, I'm going to say. Uh, and primarily, looking at it, there isn't really much of a way to tell that there's a difference. But there's actually a little subtle differences between the two. Uh, for instance, top of the head. You can see it's the same sculpt, but they painted the browns here farther up towards the brow while well, they didn't do that on this one. Also, the eyes. Both are still on the gray side, but there's actually some gloss on the newer one's eyes for the plain version. Well, the creature version is fairly dull. And then... For the mouse. This jaw can actually close decently, but you'll see here the teeth are kind of bent inwards, which allows it to close. This one, on the other hand, cannot actually close. Now, I could probably get it to close by forcing it, but I'm kind of afraid to scrape some paint. So that's about as far as this one's getting. Yeah, that seems to be the only problem. Is just I, I'm pretty sure you can heat it up and bend it in a shape that you need it to be in. Also, I'm trying to think, like, does this head look fatter? No, but the eye bugs me on that one. Because it has the shadow eyes, the older one, the newer one don't. Yeah, it's just, I don't, maybe it's just the way it's painted. It just, it almost looks like this one's a little bigger than this one. But that doesn't make sense to me. But you'll see, like, 
on the side of the uh, head here. The newer one has looks like has better paint or make it's more shinier or something, but you can tell the difference. Yeah, like the the like the reddish browns show up way better on this guy. And to be honest, I think if I would have got this one originally, I would have been actually pretty happy with it overall. It's just like the eyes kind of blend a little bit, but not nearly as bad as the creature version. Yeah. And yeah, it's just for the most part it's ninety nine point nine percent the same. Yeah, it's just the color on this one's a little bit more vibrant than what we got on that one. But other than that, it's literally the same figure. Like the cuts, the abrasions on the con is literally the exact same. So just so you guys can see, but he's got like the cuts on the chest here, got him on top of the head, got it on the forehead, side of the cheek, nothing on the back, which I think works better for this one in particular because the one with the creatures, it's like a neat look. But you don't really ever see those ones actually hurting Kong. Like, unless they actually gave us the T uh, Rex to go along with it. While with the plane, like, he was getting shot at, he was getting cut by the propellers and what have you. So, I think this look actually kind of coincides with this particular one's accessories better. Um, and then, yeah, I like think the fur looks really nice. He's got some browns, got some. Eh, it's like a dark gray for the chest region here and some of the fur patterns. Same with on the hands here. Got his feet. Uh, for, uh, I guess for his articulation, uh, if you would like a more in-depth look at this guy, we did do the other review for the previous one. And again, it's mostly the same, so we're just kind of glossing over a lot of this. But for his articulation, heck, you look up all that far. Down about that far. Can rotate all the way around. Arms. And are super tight. But get up by a far. Oh, down about that far. Can rotate all the way around. Rotation at the top part of the bicep. It's got double jointed elbows, so you get a nice bend. Hand can rotate side to side. And you can't get to go all the way around. It's a little scarier though with the plastic here. And then the hands are on a hinge, so you can get them to go forward and back. Got some movement in there. Pretty good ones. Yeah. His chest. Eh. Kind of give him like weird boxer pose. His chest can go down about that oh, far. Damn, I just noticed this. Look at that back <laughs> muscle. He's swole. Heck yeah. He's jacked. Really back about this. that far. So you can actually, if you really want to, you can get him in the gorilla pose to walk around. Okay, that's definitely an OnlyFans thing, okay? See if there's no gorilla pose. <laughs> How you do <laughs> Oh, God. Cover your shame. <laughs> Uh, but the legs can go outwards about that far, inwards about that far. Again, nice forward kick, decent back kick. Double joint and knee. Also rotation at the top of the thigh. Feet can go side to side and forward and back. All right, so on to his accessories, because we usually start with those, but for reasons we kind of went backwards. But anyways, he comes with these little cuffs, which actually have a real chain on them, attached to a plastic chain that hooks onto these little clamps. Which I haven't messed around with yet, so I don't know. Actually, okay, I think I figured it out because these don't look like they come apart. So, what you're gonna have to do. Oh, you're gonna have to take the arms off. Yeah, okay. I'm the butt already. So, let's take those. I don't know. I kind of like it better than because the Mezco one you could clamp, but the Mezco ones sometimes like to pop off. Like, that's gonna stay on. Then you just kind of slide it up if you really want it to grip. Slide the other one on. Eh. Okay, that's like I think that's almost in. So you can have Kong with some bracelets. He's also <laughs> rear, rear and back quite a bit. So he's got his little dangly chains. Got some bling, which I I personally like. I think they look a little too clean. Yeah, they need like uh, a little damage to them. Yeah, just like a little bit of variety to them. But I think as an accessory, they're still pretty sweet. I, mean, I don't know. I feel like that kind of gives you a lot of opportunities that what you can do with this figure. It gives you a lot more play, although it's kind of like, I don't really like it being down there. So you almost kind of have to like force this into place. And I kind of wish it gripped a little bit better. It does the job. But 
I almost think they're, like, to me, they look a little too big. Like, I think they only should have went, like, a little bit over this hand and stopped right here. But you got a lot of leeway with that. Also, I forgot to mention, he does come with this extra head. Which, again, same as the previous one. But, uh, mainly with the coloring, still looks a little bit nicer. The reds on the side of the cheek, I do not remember them being that vibrant. No, no, I don't. Like, it definitely looks like he's bleeding. Definitely. And the thing that kind of throws me off is the scarring is different between the two. See that? Like the way his cheek is? Like, the eyebrow damage is sort of the same. I can't see but... it through the camera, but I can see it through the side. Yeah. Oh, wow. So he's definitely got some different stuff going on. Is that like battle damage, or what is that? Yeah, it's just, scratch... it's just damage from uh, whatever, I guess. <laughs> Teeth look really nice, too, though. You want his accessories now, Steve? We definitely need the plane. Hand right. it over. All right, here's your accessories. Oh, yeah. And same head. Oh, I guess the red is kind of the no, same on there. The red is definitely more predominant. Look at that. Yeah, it stands out a little bit more. But it's not that Even different. Even the top of the head is a little more. Yeah, this definitely has a lot more like a red, like a red tinge to it. <laughs> so what you get is this little plane. A little biplane. Which, I love this, because it could just kind of sit on your shelf and it still looks like it's spinning. It's also slightly translucent, which is a really nice effect. You still see part of the plane behind it, but it's more or less kind of has the same effect going on as if it was actually yeah. running. The other thing that's really sweet, too, is actually his people. This is probably one of the greatest accessories for the Kong so far. I am torn between this and the dinosaurs. Oh, I was kind of hoping the guy would rotate. No, that would be <sighs> asking a lot. Yeah, the silver is really nice on the plane. You have the wheels. It's all painted differently. Wheel, yeah, I'd say the wheels don't turn, sadly. But you have the little exhaust ports on the front here. The wings are done in, like, sort of a beige. It's like a really grayish beige. Same with the back here, too. You got the little wheels on the back. Sadly, that's all painted silver. Like, you think the wheels maybe could have been painted a little bit, but I, I understand. Be a little bit too nitpicky. Be like, you paint that tiny little thing black and you like it, Naka. I feel like... I almost kind of feel like these should have worked. I feel like, though, they went out of their way to make the, uh, at least, like, different in a way. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, to be fair, like, this is a pretty... This, I actually think, is a really sweet accessory. It's something unique. And it's also something, like, I wish we would have got with the NECA Godzilla at some point. Yeah. My only fear was is that it was small according to those pictures. But when you actually hold it in your hand, it's a lot bigger. Yeah, like, it scales actually really nice with them. So you can have Khan holding on to it and making it look like he's about to throw it or something. I wish there was a way of actually making it look like it's flying around him. Like a little stand or something. Oh my god, see, if you ever get free time, that's what you can do is make a little diorama or a stand for him with the thing flying around him in a building. Because, uh, you know, I probably could just drill a hole and use a Tamashi X stand. Oh, you know, I got that stand at home that you forgot to take. From those bootlegs that we smashed. But it was broke. No, 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 that one was brand new, remember? Still in the... Uh, oh, I know we had the smashy one. Yeah, no, but I have an right. extra one already. Oh, do you? <laughs> I'll take it. I'm not going to... Like, beggars can't be choosers. I'll take it. But I do like... Like I said, it would be cool to have some kind of stand just to be able to pose it next to him without just it chilling on this or having him grab it. No, Which I, he does have some gripping hands. I feel like you should, if you ever have free time, is do that whole, like, back of the oh, box. Oh, how do you do that? You would have to open his hand. I know, but it's a... There isn't much room. That's what Tom I would think. Oh, sorry. Cut that thumb off. Well, uh, not. I, you could probably heat it up. Heat it up and get it expand out because that will move. Well, thank God all the accessories are similar, so you have plenty of hands. Even <laughs> so that's true. Floor. I got a bunch. Um, but he comes with a pair of clenched open hands. Make it look like he's grasping, and then two actual gripping hands, which you could probably get this on here, but it's a little bit terrifying. Especially with, like, these feel not soup, like, breakable as if, like, I'm holding on to this is going to snap off. But if you go to put this on wrong, I can see this breaking. Yeah, you got to be very careful about it. So it almost makes me kind of want to use these hands in some fashion. 
But then I feel like, like it's not going to grip at all, so it's just going to... Unless... It'll take some ingenuity. Ingen I can't say it. Ingenuity? ingenuity? Yeah. And you can kind of hold it like this. That almost works. Looks a little weird, but it 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 does the trick. And as a quick comparison, here we have the neck of Final Act Con. I guess is still what we're calling it. Compared next to some SH Monster Arts Godzilla vs. Con figures with Con and Godzilla. And here's next to some Godzilla vs. Con Mecha Godzilla figures with the Bandai Vinyl or the Movie Monster series and the Playmates. And here's next to some other Con collectibles with the Mezco Skull Island Con and the Monster Arts 2005. And here is next to some other random kaijus in my collection with the NECA Poster slash Spitfire Godzilla 2019 and the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Lightning Collection Pumpkin Wrapper. And for some other random comparisons, here we have them next to the Hasbro Transformer Studio Series Hot Rod from the animated film, and the NECA Battle Damage Robocop. So overall for the NECA Con, I guess, by, like, and Final Act Con? Yeah, because that's where he gets shot down and, you know, does the whole scene, you know. He goes, hold on. <laughs> the end. Yes. Twas beauty that killed the beast. But, <laughs> <laughs> but personally, I like this one. To be honest, I thought the the creature set one would be my favorite con because it's like you get the branch, you get some creatures with it, so you get some stuff that can pose it. But I kind of think this one's just better. Oh, God, yeah. Compare... Okay, I don't want to say that. But compared to the accessories, the plane is bigger than the creatures, right? Uh, it's about the same size as the pterodact the pterodon pterodactyl what do you want to call it i feel like it's a little bigger i'm sure we'll see it in comparisons it's thicker but yeah but um it just falls down to what your preference is do you want the plane or the creatures because the kong itself is close enough similar enough yeah because my only real drawback with this is i granted i really like this version i'd say it's probably the best one but this is also like a lot of other kong figures though like, you have the McFarlane that has the chains on the arms. Yeah. You have the Mezco that does the chain thing, too. The chains are not that unique. It's the plane that makes it unique. The plane, I think, is the thing that makes it cool. But that's what I liked about the previous set. Is like, it was all very unique. With the skull crawler yeah. salamander thing and the pterodactyl and stuff. Like, you don't really see that with a lot of con stuff. So, for me, I would recommend this to you guys if you don't... Like, this is the one to get if you either really like con or don't own one. Yeah. Like, if you just wanted, like, one con figure for your collection, this is probably the best one to get because it just kind of... It gives you, like, the look you want from the movie. While the previous one, I think, is for somebody that already has con figures but wants something a little different. Yeah. I don't think you need both of them, that's for sure. No, I will say I was kind of hard-pressed to actually buy this one, but I'm like, we have a YouTube channel, so I feel like I need to get it. It'll get you, <laughs> baby. But, uh, I'm kind of glad I did. No, it's... I like it better than a creature pack, in my personal opinion, just because the plane looks really good. Yeah, like, between this and the Mezco that's fairly similar, this is, I think, my preferred one. Oh, God, yeah. It just would have been nice, like, again, if it would have been black and white, I think it would definitely have been a huge selling point for this we'll thing. We'll never get that. <laughs> <sighs> no, what will happen is we'll get the black and white, but it'll have everything. Do you know what kind of shit that would be, Steve? It would be, like, a NECA store exclusive. For the black and white one. Or, or like some kind ultimate. of loot crate. Or like the ultimate where it's like 49 bucks and very hard to find. Something simple, something like that. That's probably when we'll get the black and white one. Or if give me the black and white one and the T-Rex with it. Like make a two-pack. Because they do two-packs. I'll that, pay $49.99 that, for that. I, you know, I'll pay my 50 bucks to get me a two-pack with a T-Rex. I think that'd be pretty dope. What do you guys think? If you guys picked up this figure, what's your favorite NECA con action figure? Caesar, just more you think, please let us know in the comments. We also have Instagram, Patreon, Pinterest, and Facebook. Guys like to keep up the date with channel and donate. We greatly appreciate it. And help us read those guys just by hitting that like button, subscribe, come arrange your day. See you guys in the next video. Bye bye. So we'll say bye bye. Oh, sorry. Peace, homies. I said bye bye, damn it. Yeah. Nobody will even see it. Yeah. This has pictures over it. I know. That's what makes it funny. <sighs>